everyone! I hope you guys are doing well. Merry Christmas! I hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas thus far. I am pre-scheduling these last eight days. Eight days of content. Is it eight days? Yeah, about eight days of content. I'm losing track. But I thought because I have literally been pre-scheduling and pre-filming and pre-doing everything during Vlogmas now that, the, that it is the final video that I'm going to be posting on the 25th of December I figured I would sit down with you guys and just talk to you guys about like what this year has taught me what I'm grateful for and all the achievements I've had in this last year thanks to you guys you guys are literally making this small town brown girls dreams come true you have no idea how much it means to me you have absolutely no idea so i really wanted to sit down with you guys and do a vlogmas roundup um nothing too fancy no makeup on my hair is air drying and no fancy lighting just you and me having a good old chit chat so let's get into this so obviously this year was difficult to say the least, I think a lot of us have felt, you know, we felt this year on a different level. It's just been something else on a whole nother level. But for me, you know, I've had so, I've had so many bad years consecutively that when 2020 came around I'm not gonna lie it didn't hit me as badly as it probably did other people and that's why in the first month of lockdown I was like four videos a week pushing things out because I was already in a routine I had battled some heavy demons towards the end of last year towards the end of 2019 I was very depressed, um, I was very sad, I was going through a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings of abandonment because I had a lot of relationships, well not a lot, there were just like a few relationships that I had that had, like, had failed and I just felt like I wasn't good enough, I really felt like I wasn't good enough, I felt like I'm literally doing all that I can. I'm literally the best version of myself in a relationship. And the person in a, I'm in a relationship with is like, uh, sorry, I have other priorities. You are just not it. That was hurtful. But I think there was a lot of other things that I was kind of evading, like going on this whole self-love journey. You know, I don't think I was ready for the level of loneliness that I was going to be in and I'm not going to lie there were days that I would just be so sad that I would just sit and cry in my room and not know why I'm crying and literally the one day I sat on my sister's bed and I just started tearing and I was like I don't even know why I'm tearing and it's making me tear now but you know like it's just it's wild like it's wild this whole self-love journey and this whole Learning to love yourself and learning to just be alone, just learning to just enjoy your solitude is something, something really different. So, yeah, I feel like lockdown was hard in the first month. I started getting anxiety attacks because I wasn't sure how I was going to pay my bills. If you guys didn't already know, I did buy a car at the beginning of this year in March and... It was honestly like the best decision I ever made in my entire life. And yo, guys, I've never been so grateful to have a car and be able to not spend thousands and thousands of rands on Uber per month. It was ridiculous. The amount of of money I was spending on Uber, I could pay three car installments. I'm not even joking. It is wild, including insurance. It is crazy. So, yeah, I'm so, so blessed to have bought a car this year and just really have been 
have become more independent a little bit more financially stable while the rest of the world was shutting down a lot of online stuff was still going a lot of marketing still needed to be done so i was very blessed to receive multiple campaigns this year and i have to thank you guys for all your love and support throughout this entire process you know i also grew a lot this year on instagram and i also grew a lot this year on youtube and it's just when i just think about like how insane my growth was i'm just like i'm in awe of people accepting me and loving me for the imperfect human being that i am but yeah just to touch on a few things <laughs> with regards to vlogmas i started pre-filming with vlogmas like a good couple of weeks in advance so i already had like five five to seven videos filmed before the beginning of december and then i kind of eased into it and i wasn't like filming every single day i did have breaks in between i did have appointments and stuff that i needed to go to in between so vlogmas this year has been it's been amazing i'd love to do a vlogmas where i can actually have a few days where i'm able to film on the day and upload on the day but yeah maybe that can happen next year this is my third year of vlogmas as well so I'm really proud of myself. I'm really proud that I was able to make it to 25 days. I know I missed out on a few days last year. But yeah, you guys have just shown me such insane support. And I cannot thank you enough for just showing me love and appreciation and support. And it doesn't go unnoticed. It really, really doesn't go unnoticed. So that's my story for vlogmas this year i really did enjoy creating content for you guys i try to keep it as fresh as possible there's still so many ideas that i don't think i fully was able to get to like i wanted to do a little insert on my laser journey but i've only been doing it for about nine weeks at this point and i kind of want to finish the whole 12 to 14 weeks and then come back to you guys and give you guys a like a decent review so that will be coming soon in the new year I still am going to be doing my laser. I actually did it tonight and then I will be doing it next week and the weeks to follow. I'm being very consistent so I can give you guys a decent review. Um, but yeah, on my legs so far, it's working amazingly. I think it's just taking a little bit longer to see a little bit of a difference with underarm hair and bikini hair. But hopefully that all is sorted. The things that I'm grateful for this year. Definitely my followers. My good health my friends and my family's good health um the fact that you know whoever has that i know of contracted covid has recovered fully and beautifully we have had a few deaths in the family um which has been really really sad but yeah it hasn't been as catastrophic as it possibly could have been May everyone rest in peace who's lost their lives this year to COVID. I think, if anything, COVID's really teaching us to just... Focus on what's more important. You know? Flashy things are not important. Working your butt off and not seeing your kids and your family and your partners... is not important you know it's a quality time we spend with people and yeah i mean i missed my parents a lot this year because i didn't get to spend time with them but i'd rather have them safe and healthy than expose them to possible risks but yeah this year has been super blessed for me and i i'm not somebody who likes to focus on the negative so even though Lots of weddings were cancelled because of COVID. I was still very grateful to receive an income from content creation. And that's honestly, it's such a big blessing, you guys. Because if I didn't have content creation, I wouldn't be able to pay my bills. And I would be relying on my sister and my family, who are probably already financially strained. And I'm just so blessed that I was able to 
become a little bit more financially dependent this year and there are amazing things coming next year you guys there's so many things in the works so many things that i'm working on that i don't really want to spill the beans just yet i want to actually talk about it when everything is set up and everything's ready for you guys and yeah i'm just so grateful for my followers i'm grateful for my growth in this last year i think i've grown this year on instagram wildly it's it's been crazy i grew from around 10 11 000 followers to now 22 000 followers and that is shoot that doubled my following literally doubled this year and it's mind blowing mind blowing so yeah thank you guys for being a part of this journey and being a part of this this hobby that turned into an income for me you guys have no idea how much it means to me how much you guys mean to me and how much your support means to me i can never thank you guys enough for loving me and accepting me for just being imperfect and not being the prettiest tool in the shed or the skinniest or the most perfect skin flawless vibes you know but you guys still accepted me for who i am and for as real as i am and i feel like a couple of years ago real always wasn't always accepted whereas now because a lot of mental health issues are coming through real is what people want to see and even if it does even if it fades away after a few years that is what you guys will always get from me is all the real i have there's no purpose in my life for aesthetics to be honest um but yeah i really hope you guys have an amazing christmas day i hope that you guys have really really enjoyed vlogmas and that even though this year was really 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 difficult i hope that you look forward to 2021 and i hope that we can all be better human beings more positive kinder to one another not just to one another but to ourselves first and foremost we are all fighting battles no one knows anything about and so it doesn't hurt to be kind to another person or be kind in general because you never know who you, whose face you put a smile on and that's honestly some of the best karma you could ever receive is just making someone smile just out of the kindness of your heart so i just want to thank you guys one last time for really being there for me this year and really supporting me and really just enjoying my content you guys have no idea how much your messages mean to me no matter how long no matter how short it is and I wish you guys everything of the best for the rest of 2020. We still have a few days to go. Um, and I'm wishing you the most prosperous, most happiest 2021. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to slay all day, every day with Amethyst Makeup. And I'll talk to you guys next year. Bye-bye. <laughs>